Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be down to the Detroit Boat Show right here at Cobo Hall, downtown Detroit, and I love this show. By far my favorite winter boat show. So while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around. I'm looking for some fun and exciting new products to report to you guys on, and have I found a doozy? I'm here with John. John, brother, how are you? Man? I'm good, how are you, Eric? Good, good, good. Forward Marine, this is a GM yep. project here, huh? Yep, yep. Tell me about, what are we standing in front of? So, Forward Marine is a General Motors special project. Okay. Um, and, and what it is, it's an innovation initiative within uh, General Motors to look at new applications for our propulsion systems, oh. and uh, specifically focusing on uh, customer pain points in different industries. So uh, this, what we're looking at today is an all-electric pontoon boat. What? Um, yeah, so it's, really? it's, it's leveraging uh, the propulsion system out of one of our electric vehicles, okay. um, mostly all production components, Okay. Um, all housed within a 24-foot pontoon hull. I have never heard of an electric powered pontoon boat. I know that they make small electric boats that go like maybe three or four knots. Yeah, yeah. But I've never heard of a pontoon boat that's fully electric powered. Yeah, so, so this is a fully capable uh, 24 foot boat. So it's 200 peak horsepower. Um, oh, mackerel. It's, it's got a 60 kilowatt hour battery, so it'll drive for 10 to 12 hours at, at lower speeds. So What kind of speeds are lower speeds? Uh, about five miles an hour. So what's your top end? Uh, it'll go over 20 miles an hour as well. So <laughs> you'll get up on plane and drive. You could tube behind this thing. You absolutely could, yeah. An electric yep. powered boat. So yep. 10 to 20 hours in a boat like this and it's got all the creature comforts as we saw in there yep. that any other regular pontoon boat would have. Absolutely and, and more. You know, um, having the uh, battery pack on board enables a lot more um, for the customer, specifically when they're out on the lake. You can sure. have um, you can run your stereo all day and of course you have, there's a refrigerator, an electric stove, yeah. a TV even on this boat. Nice. Um, you can run those things all day long if you're out at your favorite fishing spot or your yeah. or your sandbar, um, and not have to worry about your 12 volt battery dying or having to, um, you know, fire up the engine to right. keep it charged or anything like that. Right. So, so is there any kind of alternative power source for this, like solar panels or wind or anything like that, or this is just straight fill up the batteries and go? Well, I mean, so the beauty of it is that you can charge it off any 110 or 220 outlet. So, oh, nice. um, of course, if you have a dock on the lake and you want to hook it up with solar panels or or, or a wind turbine or something like sure, that, sure. you can you can charge it up off any of those. Um, any standard 110 outlet will uh, will do. So, you know, when I'm out on the water, John, I'm not really spending 12, 15, 20 hours sure. out in the water. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm out there like eight to 10 hours. Yeah. And I'm out yeah. there enjoying myself, and I'm nece not necessarily having to go fast to do it, yeah. but I'm kind of cruising around. Half Absolutely. the time, we're going back home to have some lunch right. or something like that. Yep. So these are great recharging opportunities if I want to take the kids out tubing or if I want to race over to one of my favorite fishing holes. Yeah. I can do anything with this boat, and I don't have to worry about fossil fuels. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's got, you know, for, for that type of use case, uh, you, you can run all day on this, you know. Um, actual drive time, like I said, 10 to 12 hours if you're going around the lake and sitting there, if you're sitting at your fishing spot at the sandbar, you can do that all day long and Love have it. your cold drinks in the fridge and grill up lunch on the grill and, and not have to worry about it. Electric powered vehicles, there's a barrier there that some people feel. I know I feel. I'm a little scared of them. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about um, what if something breaks and I don't know how to fix it? Mm -hmm. um, what if um, what if I run out of juice? All of those fears that stop people from buying an electric car yeah. are probably going to inhibit people from buying electric boats. Tell me how to break through that. How do I have the confidence in a, in a vessel like this that's fully electric powered without having the fears that are associated with it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, first and foremost, uh, General Motors doesn't do anything if it's not absolutely safe. Sure. Um, so, so for that concern, um, you know, you have the the stature of General Motors to stand behind you and make sure that the product that, that they would deliver is 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 safe and and, and not going to put anybody at risk. Sure, sure. Um, but you know, I think with with a pontoon like this, especially if you're on like a smaller inland lake, um, having a range of of 10 to 12 hours. Of drive time is is well beyond how how people typically use these pontoons on, sure. on those applications. So sure, sure. Um, I think we have a plenty of margin of error there uh, to make people feel comfortable okay. with that with that okay. amount of range. That's yeah. great to hear because that's always a sticking point with a lot of people going from yeah. fossil fuels to electric powered. It's, yeah. I don't understand the technology, therefore I'm not going in there. I understand put yeah. gas in it and go. Yeah, so. and I mean I mean realistically, you know, uh, on a lot of these smaller lakes where there's no marina, yeah, um, people are limited by the amount of gas cans they want to haul down to their boat in the morning anyway. 
Well, and the real challenge as well is a lot of these smaller inland lakes are not even allow, allowing gas-powered yeah. vessels on their lake. Yeah, absolutely. So you're yeah. out there in your small sunfish or the uh, pedal boat anyway, yeah. so yep. this would fit perfectly. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me, if I can't make it down to the Troy Boat Show, John, I want to know where I can find out more information about this special project from GM Forward Marine and, and what the developments are so that if ever it does come out to market, I'll yeah. know where to go in order to get one of these. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, so, of course, we'll be at the boat show the rest of the weekend, okay. um, but uh, the best place to keep in touch with us after that is uh, forwardmarine.com. Um, so, we'll, we, we have some so the latest updates on there today, and we'll continue to update that as, uh, as it moves forward. John, thank you so much, man. Yep, thank you, Eric. Fantastic project. I'm, I'm so happy that you guys are doing this. I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for the environment, and this always helps. Yep. Forwardmarine.com, guys, that's where you want to go find out more information about some technology that's absolutely going to make our lives as voters in the future that much better. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you out on the water.